Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying something different. Two tasty dishes from Bhutan. So this recipe got popular when Deepika Padukone talked about this dish. I'll show you how to make them easily at home. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Our first dish is Ima Dakshi. Ima Dakshi is a Bhutanese dish made with chilies and cheese. It's the national dish of Bhutan. We're going to start chopping the onions and green chilies. I'm slicing one onion. Let's mince the garlic now. I love the flavour of garlic, so I've taken a handful of garlic and I'm going to finely chop it. Let's slit the green chilies now. Okay, I'm I'm going to retain the seeds. If you want, you can you can take it out. I want I like it a little spicy. I'm using habanero pepper as well. I'm slicing one tomato. If you have more people, then you can add more uh, tomatoes. Come on, let's start with Ima Dakshi. Now, Ima Dakshi, Ima means chili, Dakshi means cheese. Add some oil. Add finely chopped garlic. Make sure not to burn the garlic. Immediately, we're going to add the onions. Time to add our chilies and tomato. We can add the tomatoes as well. Add some salt. So it's kind of sauteed. Now we are going to add some water. Now we are going to cover and cook this for like 5 to 6 minutes in low flame. Make sure to stir in between. Okay, it's looking lovely now. Time to add our delicious mozzarella. Woohoo! Cover and cook. Come on, let's open. Ooh, look at that. The cheese. It's looking lovely. Now we are going to give this a good stir. Oh my god, your kids are going to love this. Let's add a little bit of water. This is our twist. I'm going to grate some parmesan cheese. This is just gorgeous. Our second dish is Bhutani Simple Fried Rice. It's a flavorful and easy to make dish featuring boiled eggs. I'm going to chop one onion. Finely chop a handful of garlic. Now you all know that I love garlic. It gives such a wonderful flavor to any dish I feel. Um, so yeah, a handful of garlic is always welcome. Finely chop two green chilies. Finely chop ginger. Take a handful of coriander leaves and finely chop them. You want maximum flavors to be infused into the fried rice. So we are going to boil three eggs. I will show you a trick. Um, you can actually do this in a pressure cooker. So just follow me through. Let's add some water. So make sure your eggs are immersed in it. So the water should cover the eggs. You can add in a pinch of salt. So once the steam comes, we're going to put the weight and one whistle and you switch off. 
Switch off and let the steam settle now. Let's open. I'm going to peel the egg and I'll come back. All done. Now let's cut the boiled egg into four halves. We are going to start with the Bhutani simple fried rice. Pan is really hot. I am going to add uh, some olive oil. You can use refined oil, no problem. Time to add some ginger, chopped ginger and garlic. Can you hear the sizzle? Wonderful. Adding in the onions. I'm going to add the green chilies now. Give this a good mix. Let the flavour of the green chilli and onions get infused in the oil. At this point, I am going to add a little bit of dark soy sauce. Add a little bit of pepper and salt. So this is one cup of cooked basmati rice. Let's fry this. Can you hear the sizzle? Combine everything really well. I'm going to add the boiled eggs now. I'm going to add in the chopped coriander leaves and finally butter. Adjust your seasoning as per your liking. I'm adding in a little bit of pepper and salt. I like the flavour of pepper so I am adding in a little bit of pepper. If you want to add a little more of soy sauce, you can add that as well. Let's switch off. Give this a good mix. And you can garnish this rice with little more of uh, coriander leaves. tasty really tasty I think you all should try this it's very good very simple but flavors are amazing wow that was fun and easy we made imadachi and Bhutani simple fried rice both the dishes are unique and simple in flavors if you try these recipes do let me know in the comment section don't forget to like and share for more such simple recipes until next time, take care. Bye-bye.